well you boys and girls, it's Michael again from Miniature Painting. You could hear it in my voice, I am really happy to get back with another painting video of the four first miniatures of the Executioner's Chariot from... What is it? Dark Souls. Yes, a board game from Team Fort Games. And uh, I had this in my collection for already a long time because I was a Kickstarter backer as a uh, shop. So uh, let's go with painting. First, we start off with a gnome oil. Normally, I wouldn't be painting my skeletons uh, in a darker way like this, but since Dark Souls is pretty damn dark, I am going to do it like this. And I will be doing it like this. Since I never tried this before, and this is really a beginner's guide to miniature painting. Um, besides that, I will be painting with bone white, Vallejo bone white. Um, I will be painting these miniatures up in a way that every beginner or a board gamer can paint their miniatures. So don't expect the highest quality of uh, miniature painting. This is just a fast and easy sloppy work where you can see the miniatures in their full glory, base and everything. See, there's the difference between the dry brushing and the base washing. On to the next paint. That is a graveyard bone from MSP or Reaper Bones Model Colors. See, there's the difference again. It's a little bit lighter, not a lot, but it's light enough to uh, get our step oomph in the next video a video in the next part we're going with a heavy diluted version of gnome oil again which is pretty easy so i'm not gonna stay in the middle you guys they keep on moving they keep on moving around this is a null pot of chainmail silver and we are going to paint the swords and the helmets with that since this is a uh, four times exactly the same model they're pretty monopose Uh, I, I can show you just one 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 miniature of course you can uh, I forgot that actually oh I wish I could have done that um, with warm water you can heat these and uh, get them to uh, another pose yeah I wish I have done that would have done that but then again I didn't so here's the silver and the helmet now on the next part of the video I forgot to show you the pot which is Agrax Earthshade. What is happening now? See, I'm picking up and I'm just washing it again with Agrax Earthshade to make the silver an old, dirty, sloppy silver. Not much to be told, besides the fact that I'm still missing you guys, and I'm really glad to be back. If you are glad that I'm back for a, a couple of months, let me know in the comments. Because I'm really happy to be back. I love painting. There will be more painting videos. And now we are going to go with the most rotten pot I have found, which is my lack oxide. Yeah. And some off camera action, just painting and wiping, painting and wiping for the rusted look, which you can get. After that, we are going to love the Dutch language a bit and we are going with a pot of glue which one yeah that one and it sounds like that when you pronounce it in Dutch so uh, put the glue all over the base and then with looks APS is it still looks looks APS anyway looks scenics just press them in a little stones and you're basically done paint the rim any way you like and uh, this is the result thank you for watching i hope to see you soon and may the dice forever.